The Australian energy operator is preparing to announce long-term plans to shore up the electricity grid and Tasmania's renewable energy is expected to play a key part. But the island state needs another cable to transmit that energy to the mainland and questions are being asked about who would pay for it. With Australia in the grips of an energy crisis, Tasmania plans to become the battery of the nation. The state wants to expand its hydroelectricity network and build pumped hydro to export power to the mainland. Australia is going to need a lot more energy as our coal plants continue to retire, so we're going to need to replace that energy. But we're also going to need what's called dispatchable energy. The current undersea cable which connects the state to the mainland can't carry any more electricity. So Tasmania wants to build two more cables at a cost of nearly $4 billion, which would have the capacity to power up to 1.5 million homes. One thing to note about Marinus Link is that most of the benefits would accrue to the mainland, whereas a lot of the costs would be accruing to Tasmania and to Tasmanian consumers. Tasmania appears unwilling to put half the bill and the Victorian government is backing a link to the nation's biggest pumped hydro project, Snowy 2.0, instead. We found um, you could build sufficient uh, capacity of uh, four-hour battery uh, in mainland Victoria to give you as much peak production as the new cables will uh, for half the cost. But other energy analysts say the Marinus link will be needed, in spite of the cost. There's not a lot of alternatives because we only have one snowy hydro on the mainland, we have one hydro Tasmania, um, and we have a lot of potentially small projects. But energy storage is a big challenge for Australia. An expensive project in need of cash to fund it. Rihanna Whitson, ABC News.